Hello friends. Today I'm going to tackle a very dangerous topic. I'm going to give some political advice. And as you well know, I am not a political pundit by any means. But from a yogic standpoint, I would like to address a few principles that are important to keep in mind, especially during these days. First of all, it's important to recognize that corruption has always been part of this world. It isn't as though every political administration throughout American history has been without its problems and without its dark deeds. There has been much that's gone on that has either been hidden from the public or whatever, but it's important now in these early days of Dwapara Yuga to realize that exposing the dark underbelly of politics, religion, science, it's all part of the process of purification that is happening. And the first step in changing something that we don't want is to recognize it and to see it. And so there are many things about our political system that are becoming more and more well-known. And let's pray that that's the first step in changing things for the better. The best thing that we can do during this time of political unrest is to live in the truth ourselves to be very honorable about upholding the truth, not to get into the ideas of fake news and alternative facts, but to really try to find that center within and relate to the world with honesty, with authenticity, and to be very careful about always speaking and living the truth. Now, of course, this means non-lying, like the yama from the yoga philosophy. But more than that, it means to live the truth in actions, in feelings, and in thoughts, not to allow ourselves to become petty or to become judgmental, but rather to always think the truth, act in truth, and see beyond the outer facade that is the multitudinous verification Uh, variations in this world. There's no end to the tall and short and large and small and, and all of that. It's infinite in its variations, but it's all delusion. So if we can stay in that center and give love, respect, and compassion to every person, I often think of Swami Kriyananda and having traveled with him so much and and worked with him a great deal over many, many years. I can tell you he was not always politically correct. Those around him sometimes would just be, oh, please, Swami, don't say that. <laughs> to some of the things he said publicly. However... He was always respectful. He was always kind to people. And he always related to them as 
God speaking to God. And so it really didn't matter if he was using the right words and politically correct or not. He was coming from truth. He was also this way about fashion. He was understated and he was timeless. And he didn't go in for fads of any kind. And that's how we need to be too. Not to be worried about being politically correct, but be concerned about speaking the truth and living in truth and being part of that centered truth that is the foundation of creation. Specifically, in thinking of political advice, stay informed. Know what's going on in the world, knowing what's, know what's going on in our own country, but don't be obsessed by it. We have to remember that this world is not our real home. Our home is spirit. This is just a very temporary school that we are attending to learn questions, but it's not our true home. Read both political, both liberal and conservative news sources so that you can see both sides of any situation. And then remember that it takes both the left wing and the right wing for the American Eagle to fly. It's very helpful to study the Founding Fathers. What was the ideas, the idea behind this country? And tune into that source. It's very inspiring. But most of all, keep your sense of humor and trust in God. This is all his play. Don't get too caught up in it. Just see your part as important to play dharmically, with righteousness, and from truth. And most of all, love God.